Hello everybody. Um, I think I'm going to finish up this uh, crate in this in this video and uh, and just leave it at that. I've got some other things that I want to work on uh, for you, and so uh, I just want to do the the basics of this. I think it looks uh, reasonably nice right now. So let's uh, just uh, put a handle on this simple handle. Do a little bit of work in the top and then. Uh, and leave it at that okay so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to come in and uh let's go in one okay let's go in one there we go um i'm going to box select these vertices and these ones okay shift d to duplicate p to break them out and then select them there and shift h to hide everything else so i've got this I got an extra vertex there. I'm going to get the, delete that one. And what I'm going to do with these guys is I'm going to take this vertex there. I'm going to look from the front. And I'm going to extrude it down, E. And I'm going to come down. I'll turn snapping to vertex on. And I'm going to snap it down to that level. And then I'm going to uh, F to make a face there. And have to make a face there, and I think I'm just going to select all of these and uh, Control E, bridge edge loops, and I'll get that. I'm going to get rid of the solidify, and I'm actually going to get rid of the bevel as well. I think shade smooth that. Let's go Alt H and bring everything back. So I've got this. I'm going to go into edit mode, and then I'm just going to move this around a little bit. Oh yeah, let's turn off snapping. And just position so it sort of follows that curve and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select uh, that edge this uh, where are you to edge and that, and that edge and the bottom edge and this edge those are potentially sharp and bevel those control B pull and I'll go for a couple of segments there and I will have that so far, okay? And it's very simple. I'm gonna come in, control R, put an edge loop, control B, pull it out to about maybe that area, roll my mouse back. I'm just make another part of the handle, E and Alt S, and I'm gonna push. And then just grab these edges here, these sharp ones, and down below, so control B. I'll put maybe one segment, maybe two. And um, for shading, I mean, I could, um, what am I doing? Well, if I did put a bevel on, how would it look? I get that and try. I mean, I'll pretty much deal with the shading. Not fully though, right? So uh, I can come down here and auto smooth and just see if it's too sharp. Looks fine with me. Now I'm just gonna come back and decide if I need that bevel or not. I don't really need it, so whatever, doesn't matter. Six and one half, it doesn't the other. So that's it for my handles. Let me just double check that that's smooth enough. Yeah, you can stick your hand in there and hold that, I think. All right, and then let's come into the top, and I'm just going to take uh, these, and I'm going to hit I to inset, and do this, uh, I think. Um, and then let's delete those faces, and... No, maybe I don't want to do it that way. Maybe I'm just going to delete those. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to put an edge loop here. Bring it in. I just want to watch my bevel. Make sure it still looks nice. Yeah, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete those faces. So I have that section there. But I'm going to see if I can grab these edges. I'll turn off uh, the bevel for the moment. Actually, I realize I've got solidify on. Let's put the battery. <laughs> and that's what's giving me a little bit of thickness. So I'm actually going to come over here. And we're going to try. I'm actually, I might put on. Let's try it this way. Control shift B or shift control B. I'll get those all over. Um, but I might like it anyhow. I need to come in here and I need to, need to get rid of, I think, 
those two edges are extra ones somehow. Let's get rid of that. Oh, that's better. Um, I think that's okay. And then let's bring in a plane. Just to there, and then let's extrude it down a ways. And then I'm going to put edge loops on this, just a bunch of these. Control B to give myself some space, but roll them back. And I might just extrude these down. And then take these faces and mess with them. This is like a grate of some sort. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to switch to individual origins. And that's going to allow me to um, scale these in the X independently. And if I don't, just in case you want to see if I go SX, they're going to come all together. But if I put on individual origins and I go SX, it'll do that. And that's what I want to do. I was thinking of this, and then if I put on a bevel, I don't know that we're going to see much of anything. And of course, when I put on the cavity shader, which I think I'm going to do now, and let's try just, yeah, you don't really see it. It's almost uh, it's almost wasted. So I, mean, I don't think I even really need that. I just kind of want that in there. And I'm almost uh, done, actually. Instead of doing other work on there, um, we can actually take these things and hide them so it'll start to look a little bit better. Let's see that stuff stick around there. Is that it? That's it. And then um, we'll bring in a cylinder. Um, this is all default settings is fine. Scale it down and punch some holes in the top where it would have bolts or something. Move it over to here. And, and I don't really even know that I need I would need to angle it because you're not gonna see that. I'm gonna put a bolt in there, so I may just leave it and uh, push it in a bit. I can shade smooth that. Um I don't think I would. So I think what I'll do is I will do that and I will set the origin to the 3D cursor. We'll try it like this and then we'll mirror this. Like that and like that. I'm going to apply the mirror. And uh, what I will do for this is I'll set the origin geometry now. I'm going to take that and I'm going to select this and I'm going to go, to, go shift control B because I've got the, the bool tool uh, loaded. I'll do that. And then I'm going to take this and I just pop it up ahead. What did I just do? Why, why are you uh, not or liking what I'm doing here anymore? All right, let's just mess with this. So you're in. And on you. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply you. That's better. I should be able to get rid of that. Okay, so I've got those holes there. And uh, let's see. I could just make the, the, the bolt. It depends how much detail you want to put in this. Um, if I could just take this and uh, P to break it out. And let's see what I got on this. I don't need uh, this or this, or this, or this. I don't even really need the mirror for the moment. I was thinking of, if I wanted to do it this way, just extrude this thing down. And um, bevel this a little.
And I could leave it at that. Or I could do something a little fancier. Let's say maybe inset it in. set the origin to the 3d cursor again and mirror this there and there and that my friends is it I think and the only thing is I think I need to take it it looks a little dark to me so alt n recalculate outside yeah it's on the poly's roof flip same thing with this guy alt n recalculate outside bang and that is my crate it took us five videos or so to get there and you know obviously you could put materials on this and some decals we could do that sometime if i want to come back to this but I, like i said i have some other thoughts of things i want to work on so i just want to show you how i could do uh, a crate it's not too high poly cool well i do like the way the modeling has turned out uh, without materials just with a matte cap it looks it looks nice to me so hope that's helpful and enjoyable and we'll see you next time